A short time ago, uh, we were dispatched to active gunfire at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Squirrel Hill. Right now, uh, we have multiple casualties. We're working the situation. It is imperative that the neighbors in the community surrounding the Tree of Life Synagogue stay in their houses and shelter in place. Do not come out of your home right now. It is not safe. We'll give you an update as soon as we get one. So we know that the governor and um, Senator Bob Casey are heading to the scene right now. Uh, they were rushing to that area. We also heard from the president a little while ago. There's a tweet from him. It says, quote, watching the events unfolding in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, law enforcement on the scene, people in Squirrel Hill should remain sheltered. Looks like multiple fatalities. Be aware of active shooter. God bless all. Safe guys. Thank you. Uh -huh. So at this time, um, the suspect in the shooting is in custody. We have multiple casualties inside the synagogue. We have three officers who have been shot, and at this time we have no more information because we are still clearing the building and trying to figure out uh, if, the, if the situation is safe, if there are any more threats inside the building. So that's all we have at this point, but this shooter is in custody. We have multiple casualties and three officers shot. Thank you. Can you take a step Richard Mayor, could you add anything at all? No. We're going to wait until yeah. once the there's still a lot of stabilized. Yeah, there's still a lot of information that's missed. We we'll just got to wait and get. We want to be sure when we have everything. So right. we'll be coming back to you. Here's what we can tell you right now. It happened in the Squirrel Hill neighborhood. That is a largely Jewish community, and it happened at the Tree of Life Synagogue. It is the largest conservative congregation in that area. It was actually formed more than 150 years ago, and in 2010, two Pittsburgh congregations merged to form the Tree of Life congregation. So this is a huge congregation. It happened during the 9.45 a.m. Shabbat. It is the most attended service of the entire week. Uh, we also know that from local media reports, up to 12 people were shot. We're hearing eight are confirmed dead. Three uh, officers were also shot. And hearing that some officers who were responding to the scene were forced to even use their vehicles as a shield. We're hearing that the shooting happened in the basement of the synagogue and people were found both in the atrium and in the basement. Uh, we heard from the former president of the synagogue that in the past, security had been an issue for them and they were working with the Department of Homeland Security to try to find ways to secure exits and entrances. So there was a huge police response in that neighborhood while uh, authorities were trying to ascertain whether or not there was only one gunman or if someone may have made it outside of the building. Uh, my name's Abby. Um, my husband Trevor and I, uh, we live nearby and uh, we heard about the shooting and just wanted to do something, so we went to Dunkin' Donuts and got some coffee and, and donuts for everybody. Uh, just, you know, what little we can do. Do you, you live in the neighborhood? Tell me a little bit about it. Uh, we don't live too close, but, um, yeah, we just, we're uh, over closer to uh, uh, Swissville, Edgewood, but um, we just wanted to do something. Sorry. sorry. How far behind is this microphone out? To the number of the This is this is pretty young. Uh, yeah, not much. You identify the gunman. It's an active investigation. I mean, obviously, we know who the gunman is, but we're not, I'm not going to bring that up now. Why are the feds conducting the investigation? As I mentioned before, uh, this is a, falls under a hate crime, uh, being it's a Jewish synagogue, so it will be basically a federal investigation with the assistance of the locals, county, and state police. Is the shooter among those injured? The shooter was taken to the hospital, and I'll leave it at that. Thank you, folks. Uh, heard just a little while ago that the shooting is now considered to be over, that the suspect surrendered, um, but it was a, a very chaotic time. So we're, we're still learning, waiting to learn more about the motive behind this, of course. Uh, no identity has been reported yet for that shooter, no, no motive. 
uh, but we do know that it is the largest conservative uh, majority synagogue in the Squirrel Hill neighborhood and has uh, uh, hundreds of members. So we're, we'll be waiting on additional updates from police on the scene there. I think it's a tragedy. I feel compassion for the families. Um, but I also feel curiosity for the shooter because I have to wonder if mental illnesses were involved, if this was a suicide attempt, um, if this was a hate crime. Like I have a lot of questions about it and I hope as a community we don't let this like victimize us but we let this bring us closer and stronger together as a whole and show people that like you know like yeah this tragedy can happen but we will always bounce back from it.